another episode of the not so common sense podcast i am kenyatta haynes your nutritional coach spiritual advisor metaphysician and any other label you want to put me in that i probably don't subscribe to um we are going to jump right into the episode i don't want to make this too long because i don't know how much storage is on my phone and i have a crap ton to do today so today um oh before we start of course let me do traffic thoughts um i really don't even have any thoughts on traffic i have so many thoughts on other stuff right now i can't even think about traffic because it just annoys me anyway so the throat chakra um the mantra is i speak you can and the other mantra is hum as in like ham or hum okay all right the planet mercury and venus co-rule this chakra mercury has to do with communication so that makes total sense that it you know corresponds with the throat chakra episode the body parts are hands shoulders lungs and nervous system The cell salts are potassium and chloride. If you have issues with your throat chakra, vitamin C would be a great supplement or make sure that you're getting vitamin C to help regulate and promote a health, excuse me, a healthy heart chakra. The spiritual archetype says the divine messenger and ruler of the roads of life embodies free will and the power of decision making represents the crossroad crossroads where decisions made and the doorways through communion the word of god or the principles of vibration as a creative force informing reality associated with the air atmosphere and wind so that's the spiritual archetype that we have if your chakra is underactive some of the character attributes that you may display you may be dishonest have a fear of speaking poor rhythm weak voice excessive shyness or denial of creative expression again it's your throat chakra it's all about using you know communicating with your heart having empathy for others but doing it in a way that you get your truth across but more so the universal truth which goes to the weak personality trait is apparent truth use voice to criticize complain and condemn self and others or stifling voice and timidity so remember in the last heart chakra episode i talked about that sometimes if you're heartless you don't really have empathy and you don't have the self-compassion for other people because you also don't have that self-compassion for yourself and you're very judgmental so then if you stay in that unbalanced heart chakra then it shows up in how you express yourself through your throat chakra overactive chakra is distraction excessive talking poor listener overextended too loud unable to keep secrets forced creative expression and gossiping and i am not even gonna lie right now i'm very overextended and <laughs> i haven't been doing a lot of talking so i'm trying to balance out my throat chakra with that but um, sometimes I can be a poor listener too, you know, sometimes I just talk, 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 talk. So I've been trying to make sure that I'm mindful of that and that I am using it more balanced um, and using it for things like this, like the podcast, creating content and so forth. Alrighty, some of the physical corresponding for treatment is enzyme production because it has to do with your mouth producing digestive enzymes so you can properly digest and assimilate your foods thyroid speech laryngitis tonsillitis back pain allergies cold and sinuses and nerve transmitters okay the emotional corresponding for treatment is going to be spread self too thin see self is not important sways from low self-esteem to egotistical and lack of spontaneity so again i'm trying to figure out <laughs> 
if my throat chakra is basically over active because I was like, I don't even know how I'm going to do this episode today. I just got so much going on. Um, but I'm getting it done. You know what I'm saying? So, and I also invested in my physical health. I went to go work out, but I literally got home at 2.30, 2.45 and I was back up at 5.30, 5.45. Um, but I did get sleep. So don't worry. I'm not like sleep deprived or anything. <laughs> so let's get into some foods that you can eat for overactive heart chakra, I mean, excuse me, overactive throat chakra. You can eat fruit, soups, teas, plants, and any blue food. Avoid alcohol, sugar, and coffee. And I actually made me a turmeric detox broth soup, so that makes sense. Um, it has ginger, curcumin, I mean, not curcumin, turmeric, which has curcumin in it, um, coriander, you know, those great Ayurvedic herbs to help promote e healing. And then if you have an underactive chakra, some of the herbs that you can eat, I'm sorry, some of the foods that you can eat are vegetable juices, raw foods, ginger, lemon, and avoid stimulants and dairy. Again, some of the herbs are peppermint, anise, and eucalyptus. I actually, when I got done running the other day, I didn't wear like a jacket and it was like 60 degrees. So I didn't think, you know, I would have, it's called like allergic rhinot not rhinoceros, rhinus, I want to say. That's how you pronounce it. But basically, I didn't have a cough or anything. My nose was just running, and then I kept sneezing. So I ended up putting, like, some peppermint and um, some eucalyptus with argan oil, like, on my throat, kind of like how you do Vicks. And then I also did some herbs, like bone set, goldenrod, and plantain leaf, and I, like, literally felt better after drinking three cups of it. Um, so, yeah. Some of the herbs from mercury is Kasakara. <laughs> we just gonna leave that. El Camp What's up with all these herbs and why can't I talk today? El Campine, however do you say that? Witch hazel, licorice, fennel, whorehound, fenugreek, valerian, and parsley. Okay, you guys. The strong soul, um, if your heart chakra, why do I keep saying heart chakra? If your throat chakra is balanced and in harmony, your strong soul will throw up as the essential truth. Use voice to express appreciation, encouragement, and reassurance to self and others. And I definitely need to do that <laughs> for myself, all right? Some of the stones you can use are blue quartz, turquoise, blue agate, celestite, endocolite, blue calcite, aquamarine, and gold topaz. Okay, you guys. Some of the yoga postures that you can do for this chakra is neck and shoulder stretches, bridge or shoulder stands, half shoulder stands, fish supported, the regular fish, and camel. Healing activities Chanting, singing, being silent, which I've been doing a lot lately, listening to or create music, journal, be creative, eat fruits, okay? Those are some of the applicable or applicable, however you say it, potato, potato, things that you can do to help promote a healthy throat chakra. Psycho-spiritual qualities are mental activity, memory perception, focus, decision-making, analysis, Free will, speech, and word of choice. Those are the psycho-spiritual qualities of how this chakra interacts with you. So psycho has to do with like mental and then spiritual has to do with emotional. So it's like a conjunction of those two. Like I said, I don't want to make this episode too long um, because honestly, for myself, I feel a little bit overextended. I feel a little bit stretched through too thin. So I'm trying to just make sure that not only do I stay consistent, even though nobody really listens to the podcast or watches the podcast, it's not about that. Again, it's about using my voice to express the truth and to creatively express myself in a way that pours back into me because I love being a holistic wellness coach and it's a passion, but it does not provide me profit. 
and it's one of the things that I'm considering letting go. Um, so I'm just trying to do all I can do first before I do make that decision to say I may walk away from Kefir Wellness. I don't even want to cry. But yeah. So that's another episode of the Not So Common Sense Podcast. Um, you can go and get the Herbal Remedies ebook, Back to Our Roots, as well as Your Right to Wellness, which is available on keyforwellness.com. I will be at the Baddies Link Up Mixer in Atlanta. It is October 22nd, 2022. Please get your tickets, you guys. All the general tickets have sold out. So come as very important people or VIP. I will have my crystals there for sale as well as, well as the sign-up sheet for the opening wait list because I was already considering like how am I going to take on people for coaching when I barely have time for myself so that's what I'm saying I'm only taking literally about four or five people on at a time um, because it is either a 12 week or 18 week program so with that being said Please share this with a friend if you can. Subscribe to Kick It With Ken if you're watching. My goal was to do recipe demonstrations on the YouTube.